Hi guys, Steam Lusar here, back with another tutorial and for today's tutorial video we are going to be drawing the NBA logo as you guys know I'm a huge NBA fan if you guys have me on Snapchat you know I snap a lot of NBA basketball especially the Golden State Warriors that's my squad man like Chef Curry, Kevin Durant, Clay Thompson, Draymond Green they're the guys but bosses won that championship this year Obviously, the West is tough right now, very tight. Rockets are doing job. But anyway, back to the video. As you can see here, I'm doing a quick rectangle shape, just so I know where I want the logo to go. Um, it didn't end up being exactly the same size, but the fact that I knew that I had like a basic structure of where the logo was gonna go, that's what I was aiming for. So I did that first, just to know where I want the logo to fit and as you can see now I'm doing the corner so I'm trying to make the corners very really smooth and rounded instead of just giving it a box shape let me know in the comment section what's your favorite NBA team this year I'm actually quite I'm quite liking the Bucks the Greek freak or they call him the alphabet as they call him <laughs> the Greek freak's doing job he's, he's sick on levels He's an all-star as well, which is nice. Can't wait to can't wait for the all-stars. It's gonna be lit. Yeah, there's a couple of people that I thought would have made a starting lineup, like uh, Isaiah Thomas. He's a boss. Obviously, Kyrie Irving probably got more votes because of fans and whatnot. But in the East, I would I would have chose Isaiah Thomas over Kyrie Irving simply because I think he's having a better season. Although Kyrie Irving's been had a couple clutch games especially against us that first game we played against them this season that clutch shot they did to us in the finals as well uh, let's not talk about that one but yeah Isaiah Thomas I think he should have been in the All-Stars starting lineup who else mm, MB um, I like MB from Philadelphia he is doing a good man job as well like if you look at his numbers for a rookie He's probably becoming the best rookie of all time. <laughs> so he's doing job. Hopefully next year or the year after the 76ers will start really competing and going to the playoffs and then again I'm not sure they might they, they could make it this year. Right now they're eight and two in the last ten games, which is sick. Yeah, I'm doing a basic outline stencil. I'm doing. I've already drawn the circle. Maybe because it's a round shape, and it was. I knew it was going in the middle of the the rectangle of the logo. The circle is in the middle, so that's why I started there. As you can see, I didn't go all the way down. Like I was saying at the beginning, it was just a basic shape to know where I want the logo to go. So as you can see, I stopped around a centimeter above. As you can see, now I'm bringing in the ruler, starting to line things up. So just like a tenth of the ball. So I made a line, yeah, I made a line there, like a tenth of the ball. Just so I knew where to stop. I 
Boom. So that's two lives I've done so far. This one's pretty difficult to be honest. But obviously from the from the Premier League logo now to the NBA logo. I'm gonna be building up, I'm gonna it's gonna it's gonna get harder, put it that way. So the more the tutorials I do, the harder it will get. But that's the only way you're gonna progress by challenging yourself constantly. So for those of you that want realistic faces and whatnot, that's not it. We're not doing that yet. I'll be doing a couple, maybe, like how to draw the eye, ears and stuff like that, and then we'll work on the whole face. But for now, it's going to be things like this, just the fundamentals of getting proportions right. Because what's the point of me telling you how to draw a face and you can't even get proportions right? That doesn't make sense. It's not going to be realistic then. So we're going to work on the fundamentals, just getting the lining right, get your basic shapes right and then after that we can start working on detailed and stuff like that but yeah it's all a process and hopefully you guys are patient enough to follow me along it's gonna be fun teaching people is not not one of my strengths but I'm gonna try just because you guys asked nicely so <laughs> let's do this and Almost done with this pencil outline. I'm hoping you I'm hoping you guys can follow this along so far. Like I said in my, my other video, the Premier League logo tutorial one. If you guys do end up doing this drawing, make sure to tag me in it in Instagram or on Twitter. Either one. Yes, and don't forget to go like my Facebook page. Obviously on there I ask people all the time what should I draw next? and my work in progress and obviously I'll go into DO my work in progress what pens I'm using and all that stuff here again at the top as well as you can see I didn't go all the way up to the top I stopped before So I've got the width, the height, all of that wrong at the start, but it was helpful because I knew the basic shape. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. I know you know what I mean. And now I'm going to be writing the MBA. I think this was probably the hardest part. Here I'm going on the top of the ankle. Boom. So that's where I want it. And now I'm just gonna do it freehand. Just doing a ruler with all this, it's just gonna be long. So I'm just gonna do a basic like just lines just to know where I want the N and the B and the A to go. So that's what I'm doing right now little lines and the gap like that boom and for some reason I always work backwards it's very weird I should be starting on the end where I start at A and then I, I think I go to the N and then I go to the B it's just yeah nope I go to the B and then I go to the A the N wow backwards why do I do this it's actually, it's true, when I'm doing lettering, I always go backwards. Hmm, that's a question that I need answering to. Why do I do this? I don't know.
So here we have the fire liner again. Try to do it in one stroke. Boom, boom, boom. Even this line here. There, bang. And this big one, I'm gonna do it in one stroke. Boom, go. Solid. And now, speed up time. <laughs> Done. Color in time. Here I'm just using a dark blue. As you can see, I'm doing in the little gaps first. And the MBA. And now time to speed it up again. This is boring. Boom. Now I'm bringing in the red and I'm just gonna be doing the basic outline first so I don't go over the lines and touch the white part. So that's what I'm doing here. And yeah, we're gonna speed this up in about five, four, three, two, one, boom! Stuff Curry with the shot, boy. Yeah, for you Westbrook fans, <laughs> my man Steph Curry starting, starting line up. Know the thing. And that's my video for today. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, still give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe to Demus Art. I'm Demus. I'm out. Peace.